runway zero eight. Got the goose tower one one nine at small one. Nineteen one switching and uh, cleared for the visual three six nine Sierra Tango. Okay, just been cleared for the visual. Switching the frequencies here to the tower. Coming into Goose Bay, Labrador. I've uh, taken the liberty of loading vectors to final. So I'll just go ahead now and activate vectors to final. Flip the frequency, flop the VLOC, and uh, maybe go over there, intercept the localizer. And I'm going to come on down now to, uh, oh, maybe 1,000 or 2,000 feet, something like that. Just get a descent going here. There we go. Bring the power on back now. Collecting 25 inches for the, uh, the base leg, more or less, here. Okay, looking good. At Goose Bay Tower, it's uh, Malibu 369, Sierra Tango, and uh, we're on the visual for runway 08. November 369, Sierra Tango. Good morning, runway 08. Winds are calm, altimeter 3072. Report 3 miles final, runway 08. Wilco, 369, Sierra Tango. Speed Air 961, right on Alpha. Ground 121, decimal Okay, so we're uh, on a long uh, round. Uh, right base. Okay, 369, ahead. Sierra Tango. Who's your servicing agent in Goose Bay today? It will be uh, Woodward, sir. Check Woodward, thank you. Okay, so here we go. Get a little descent going here. Keep us under the glide, glide path. And, uh, Nav here. Again. Always in sight. Coming over the river here. And uh, don't have a live, lo lo live localizer yet, but uh, we are staying right with the glide slope at 800 feet a minute. So, and we'll just arm that up right now. We're gonna go ahead and slow it down some more. In the gear speed, 18 inches ought to do that, even with this expedited descent. Looking for a glide slope capture here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, join using the heading bug, because I know the S-Tech turns a little slow. ice on the window still, but no worries. Okay, Loke's coming in just fine. We're a tad high. I had to go ahead and select gear. Notch flaps will continue the descent. And uh, power back a little bit. We got pulse lights. And we're three miles. And uh, Goose Bay 369, Sierra Tango, three miles. November 369 Sierra Tango, wind calm, clear to land 08, check gear down. Gear down and clear to land uh, 08, thank you, 369 Sierra Tango. 9 Sierra Tango, you can anticipate exiting at Bravo, that's 8,000 feet down the runway off the right hand side. Alright. Okay, glide slope's captured and uh, runway's in sight. This is Les Stroud territory up here. I mean to tell you, everything is locked up. Everything is frozen up here today. It 
is still winter in Goose Bay on this 24th day of March. We have three greens. Runway is clear. We have a clearance. Autopilot's coming off. Another notch of flaps. Power to 15. Speed up because it's been a long day. 500. Just the first leg. Our wind's pretty calm today, so shouldn't be a problem. If I could get this camera to work correctly, I apologize. Uh, it's not pointing the way it wants to point. I right, get that rudder centered now. And uh, we'll go with full flaps today. It's a nice calm wind. He's asked me to turn off down there at Bravo. I think is the second one. We'll land a little long. Okay, so it's 90 over the numbers, and here we go into the flare, just squeezing the power back, and trimming up just a little, just to get that nice nose-up attitude. Right there, right there. And we'll go with identify, verify, retract flaps, the rollout. We'll get the heater off. Nine Sierra Tango, continue straight ahead for another 3,000 feet, right on Bravo ground, 121.9 or off the runway. Uh, off at Bravo and uh, call the ground while we're off, 369 Sierra Tango. Okay, welcome to Goose Bay, Labrador. It's a nice, uh, clear, beautiful day here in Goose Bay. And uh, very friendly people. Woodward Aviation is uh, top notch, one of my favorites. Well, I'll get back to you on the next leg. Dick Rochford here, fly safely, terrain off it.